three. There's no way to solve it if you don't go through the puzzle exactly in order. Yeah. And it's great to see the passion that you've got for this in your face. You, you, he's only seen the profile of your face, but man, you're just, you're like a proud papa moment right now, man. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So what was the toughest part of this? Which, which, which question was the toughest one to solve? I think just getting going at first was the toughest. No, getting you know you start the, once you start knowing the format of the URLs and stuff like that that you're always missing the last three characters because you know, I, I had never used that uh, service before so it's like you know, it's asking me to register as this legit so you, know, you register for the site and, and you go on there and then. You, I didn't know at first that I was entering wrong once, you know, it just kept sending me back to the page. So am I doing it wrong? Am I using the wrong browser or stuff like that? But, you know, what, once I got figured out what, what to expect and stuff like that, it became easier. So I think that first one was the hardest and then it became a little bit easier after that. So you do realize you didn't have to register for the service. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you but registered okay. for APR? Uh, APR for simple no, no. note. For, simple note. For simple note. Yeah. Right. Simple oh. note. So you can do it without registering at all. All you have to have is the complete URL, yeah. and it will pass you right I, through. I think getting the wrong ones, it was saying I have to sign in. It's like, well, I right. must have to sign into Access. And right. I didn't realize at the time it was the wrong ones. So I'm guessing by this point in the video, you're a bit confused about what's going on and what this video is exactly about. So let me back up and give you a little backstory. It was roughly around January of this year that I came up with this crazy concept of working through a series of ham radio related puzzles. And I ended up dubbing this the Hamvention Challenge. So what it was was a series of questions that anyone at Hamvention could try to work their way through. Now we were fortunate because ICOM came on board uh, right away. We talked to them back at Orlando uh, this year, February 2023, and they bought into this idea and sponsored this challenge, allowing us to give away an ICOM 7300. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details of each puzzle piece in this video. We will be doing a live stream tomorrow night, uh, if everything goes well, on Ham Radio Crash Courses uh, channel. So be sure to tune into that live stream where we'll go through and uh, show you exactly how each piece of this puzzle was solved and you can see what all was in the puzzle to begin with. But the way you got into the game was by scanning one of these QR codes. We had sprinkled these around several different booths at Hamvention. We were fortunate that the ARRL was on board with us and they allowed us to basically cover their table with these QR codes. We also put them at Signal Stuff's booth and we put them at Gigaparts and LDG's booth. So we had these sprinkled around in quite a few places, but there's really nothing on here indicating what's going on. You literally had to scan the QR code, which took you to a web page that welcomed you to the game and kind of kicked things off. So I just wanted to introduce the concept to you in this video and share with you the winner and his interview and then of course uh, presenting him with that ICOM 7300. So let's go ahead now and get back to that interview. So I'm, I'm curious because we kind of created the question so we once you've created it, it's hard to know what to expect from the other side. Uh, how long did it take you to solve the, uh, the one where you had to contact the Simplex repeater? Uh, that was one of the longer ones. Uh, I sat there for a while oh, thinking about it. It was probably about 15 minutes or so. 15 minutes or yeah. so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I called out there and talked to somebody and then thought of it and I was like, well, let me just listen for a while, see if anybody else does anything. And they did it and it didn't. And I was like, well, you got to find <laughs> and I looked at it a little bit further. Maybe it's DTMF. <laughs> so, so what about the what about the APRS portion of it? The the two different. It was the same clue, right? But you had to solve it yeah. two different ways. So I was thinking it had at first it had to do something with the name of it. It's like what does the the shawl mean, right? So I was like, and then I, I'm starting like, googling it. And I'm seeing like somebody from the French military and all this, <laughs> totally going down the wrong track. And it, didn't realize it had absolutely no relevance whatsoever. So then I, yeah, I go on APRS to FI, 
and I was like, oh, I want to see the raw packets from this guy. I see something on there. And then finally, ah, oh, I see three characters, and they're different from the three characters on the wall. And I put it in, and it's like, it didn't go to a different page. Wait, yes, it did. <laughs> you were slightly different. Ah, okay. Then it clicked. All right. And then, minutes and then, and yeah, then after that, the nice I line. believe it was the fox sign, correct? The fox sign, yeah. So so how challenging was that in yeah, this I RF have, crazy environment? RDF. Right, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. I, I didn't you, have my aero antenna with me. I just have this little HT with this little antenna. So uh, it's like, well, which one is, is the in house, right? Yeah, this is the Kenwood. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah. So this is what you use this is to what, do it? Yeah, this is the THF-6. So any tips for somebody that doesn't have a directional antenna and they're trying to find a fox? So, yeah, I go around with this and try and get the strongest signal that I can at, at this. And then I take off the antenna and I start going like that. And, and Pay attention, it, guys. Pay attention. A lot of attenuation that way. So I kind of use my finger as an antenna first. And then when I get really close, then take it off altogether and just kind of start winging the radio around. And, you know, I'm like nosing behind booths and stuff like that. And then finally I see this arrow antenna laying there. And then I'm asking, the, is it okay for me to be back here? And then I see it on the wall. I was like, fox sun. Ah, I got it. <laughs> I put it in. I was like, okay, what's next? And it's like, congratulations. No way. This is it? All right. Thank you, ICOM, for sponsoring this event. This was a lot of fun. I hope you had some fun playing it. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> the AWRL was on board with us from the, from the very beginning, so we greatly appreciate you guys giving us some latitude and uh, and, and helping awesome. us as we kind of uh, stretch the limits of what other people might have been doing in the past. <laughs> so, on, uh, congratulations with an ICOM 7300. Wow, awesome. Thank you so much. Well done. You are more than welcome. <laughs> it's all but hey, we can't do what we do without these guys. Thank they you. they Thank do you. everything for us. So Thank you, David. Wow. Yep. And, and, and it's great to see the passion that you've got for this in your face. You, you, he's only seen the profile of your face, but, man, you're just you're like a proud <laughs> papa moment right now, man. Ray, thank, you, thank so you for sponsoring the event. David, thank you for playing right. along. Thanks, brother. <laughs> thank you, Ray. Greatly appreciated, guys. Here, yeah, everybody. we'll give you. Yep, and a fist bump. <laughs> all, all in. All in. All in. All in. <laughs> thank <Way> you. <laughs>